it's real and we're concerned and we're very happy that the uh, the city council is is taking a step forward in terms of making it a public conversation which is Right now, you just heard it. We are hearing from the governor and the board of licenses about a double homicide that has temporarily shut down a nightclub in Providence. I'm Chelsea Jones. This is coming off of a recent spike in crime in the capital city. These two deaths becoming the 14th and 15th homicides in Providence this year. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joining us now live with the latest details that we have at this hour. Matt. Chelsea, the Board of Licenses says while the shutdown of Fuego Lounge may be tough economically after last night's violence, their main concern is the safety of this city. This was the scene Saturday morning as police were called to Broad and West Friendship Streets for reports of a shooting. According to police, when they arrived, they found one man who had been shot and killed, while another was taken to Rhode Island Hospital, where he later died. Dylan Conley, chairman of the Board of Licenses, says an emergency meeting was held Saturday after the city's 14th and 15th homicide of the year. Whenever there's an issue of serious violence and we don't understand exactly what happened, we are really concerned of the opportunity for repeat violence in the same location. Those issues are really what caused us to close the place down for 72 hours. Conley says that Fuego Lounge has been cooperating with police, but that this isn't the BOL's first run-in with the club. We have had one other emergency meeting in the past regarding this uh, facility. Uh, but they work very well with the police. Providence police say the victims were 29 and 27, both from Boston. Council President John Igliozzi releasing a statement about Saturday night's violence, saying, quote, Sadly, last night we experienced more violence and loss of life. We cannot allow violence to define our city. Our residents, business owners, and visitors need to feel safe. Governor Dan McKee visiting Federal Hill Saturday night, reacting to the violence in the city. We rely on the, on the police uh, in terms of what they understand needs to be done. Whether it's your local police or your state police, as a former mayor, that's what I did. Mayor Jorge Alorza also commenting on the shooting, saying in a statement that reads in part, the violence we saw in our city last night is beyond inexcusable. While the perpetrators and victims of this violence are likely known to each other, the cycle of gun violence and retaliation must end. These statements coming as state and city officials are calling on state police for help to assist with the recent spike of violence across the capital city. Now, we've reached out to both Fuego Lounge and their legal team for a comment on last night's incident and have yet to hear back at this time. Reporting live in Providence, Matt Paddock, 12 News.